for uh, for application that's going to give them a little bit more. So we decided to introduce new parts of our application that are going to respond to a bigger group of users. First, we're going to focus on smart homes, so how we can actually make your life easier and make using of our surveillance station easier outside your house. First of all, support for intercom functions. This is a new feature that we introduced with the actualization to 8.1 version of our surveillance station. What does that mean? That means now, because thanks to intercom function, you can watch, talk, and act. That means if you're sitting down at home and somebody comes to your house and rings your you can open the door with your mobile phone or, or with your tablet. You have to get off the couch. You can watch the people that speak to your door via your mobile phone or your devices. And also, if you have a camera that supports uh, two-way communication, you can also talk to people that are standing outside your door, which is a very handy feature and, of course, trying to make your life a little bit easier. The home mode, um, we introduced a home mode uh, feature, which basically means if you are inside the home mode, uh, we don't want you to unnecessarily record um, everything, all the alerts. So you can choose to deactivate your cameras. You can choose that no notification come to your screen and deactivate action rules. Of course, you can have them all active as well. But we find that recording 24-7 sometimes is not optimal for all users because it takes a lot of space. Also, we introduced another part of home mode, which is deactivated. It means that you can, um, once you're leaving an area that you choose to monitor, your cameras can automatically activate, your notifications will start to come to your mobile devices, and all the activated action rules are going to be in place. So let's say if you're outside your house and there's somebody trying to break into your house and camera recognizes any movement around your door or your window, it's going to flash up on your mobile device. Let's come to the first demo and I'm going to show you how it looks. Now, quick question, does everybody see my webinar, uh, sorry, my server? interface. Yes? That's fantastic. Perfect. So I'm in the interface of my server. If I just click here, I have my surveillance station application installed already. So once I click into it, you can see that my interface of surveillance station is open. My application home mode, if I click into this, you have to make sure that the application is on because a lot of time people try to set it up and think that it's not working, but they actually forget to um, initially put it on. This is just an overview of, um, of our home mode. We can set up a schedule, so if we're leaving for work every day at the same time and coming back around at the same time, we can set up, action, we can set up uh, schedule settings, which means that we don't have to think about turning anything on. Everything will work automatically. Here in settings, we can set up general settings, so um, settings for recording, notifications, uh, stream profile, and different action rules that we're going to um, need. For the recording, we can set up schedule when it's actually recording. So as I said, sometimes it's not optimal to record 24-7 because simply our NAS is going to be filled with recordings. So we can set up when the cameras are actually going to be active. Notifications. Here we're just setting up notifications for our different action rules. So if camera connection is lost, we can get an email, SMS, or mobile. Now for our intercom function, it's very important to make sure that you do click on mobile so you can get your notifications on your mobile devices. Stream profile. The fantastic thing about our surveillance station is that you can choose a profile, a stream profile that you're going to record in which basically means that if there's nothing happening and you're outside the house, you still don't have to record or you don't have to record in high quality. You can record in low quality or don't record, not record at all. And only the camera picks up a movement or camera picks up a guest around your house. 
then it's going to start automatically recording or it's going to record in high stream profile in high definition which basically means that we're trying our best to make sure that you save your space on your NAS and you're not necessarily recording everything. Here are the action rules. You can set up different action rules. I have a few set up. I'm going to show you this one. This is my um, intercom test, which I'm going to show you on pre-recorded videos. I would have to have a third screen to show you um, how it looks on the mobile. But here I set up an event that, in the case of doorbell detected, my camera is going to start recording by the door to see who's there. And of course, my mobile is going to flash as well and show me that somebody's standing. Here we're just setting up different um, rules for recording. So I decided to take snapshots four times an interval of two seconds. And of course schedule as well. You can make sure that this is deactivated when you don't need it. Let me show you the recording that we have prepared for you. Just In just two seconds, something seems to be disconnecting for us. Or I will have you hooked up in 0 0.2 seconds. Okay, so we have that ready. Let's screen. Okay. So, if you can see, this is a screen of a mobile device. If we click into our DS cam, first of all, how to set up the home mode. On your mobile, you can watch everything that's happening around your house. You just have to set up home mode. Then you have to select the area that you want to monitor. And then how far out of the area you want to go. So basically up to 500 meters you can you can detect um, home mode. You can set up your home mode. Another thing that you can set up is um, to make sure that the accuracy is high, which means that you are only in home mode when you're entering it, not when you're coming to it. And also another option which is a Wi-Fi option, it means that you don't have to use your GPS uh, tracking on your device, on your mobile device, because sometimes it takes a lot of uh, battery. I don't know about your phone, but mine seems to die minute I put it on in the morning. So 9 o'clock I have it 100% charged and then it just dies. So this is a very handy option for me. Only when I'm in Wi-Fi, my home mode starts working. Let me show you another video. Um, intercom notification on mobile. This is a very handy feature as well. So I have to be quiet with this. You hear somebody's ringing our intercom, our doorbell, and our mobile device, irrespective of where we are, is going to pick up the fact that somebody's at the door. Now we can open the door or not if we don't want this visitor to come to us. Okay, so let's go back to our webinar. Next part that we're going to focus on is retail. Um, a lot of our customers are big um, warehouses or cafeterias, hotels. They have um, they are using our solutions, surveillance station solutions already to monitor their surroundings. However, for last few months they were asking us quite a lot about more um, full solutions. So not only monitoring your surroundings but also making sure that your transactions are looked after as well. We decided to implement something to make their life easier as well because as you know we're trying to build our applications so it suits our customers. So basically we build platforms and our users are essentially building them by giving us ideas. So we decided to introduce POS um, into, um, into our surveillance station. This time, thanks to POS, um, we can track our 
transactions as well. So we can track our transactions by article, by the whole transaction, or by the bill. It all shows up on the screen of the camera. So I'm going to show you in a few minutes how to set it up. The search is very intuitive. So you can search by typing in, if you have an expensive item within your store, you can type in the name of the item and transaction will show up. Um, you can record a transaction with and without video. So if you want to see who sold this particular item from your store, you can see the video. But also if you want to print out at the end of the day reports from your sales today, you can print them out just with the screenshot, um, which is very handy. And we're trying to make sure that uh, we're getting the full picture for you. You can set up action rules, so predefined events as well. If, if that expensive item from your store is sold, you got, you, you're going to get immediate notification. And of course, there's support for mobile devices, so you don't have to be there to overview, overlook what is happening. You can be laying down on the beach, just monitoring your shop every now and then and get a notification that this fantastic, very expensive item just sold. So let me show you on a second demonstration how it looks and how easy it is to set up. So if you go back to desktop, of course, let us know um, if, if you don't see uh, properly. With me, there is my technician, Jonas, today. He's helping us and he's um, writing down. So if you have any technical question about surveillance station, you are more than welcome to write in a chat. Jonas is taking a look at the chat at all times and he is going to answer all of your questions regarding surveillance station. So please feel free. At the end of presentation, I'll give you a few minutes to check on us anyways. But let's go back to our... If you see our surveillance station again, I went into my server and clicked into surveillance station application. First thing that you have to make sure to... Um, get the transaction application running is to click on add-ons and transactions. Make sure that it's running. I won't press stop because it will stop my application, but that's a lot of times a step that's missing um, and our customers can't seem to connect. You have to activate it to make sure that it will work and you have to activate it in add-ons. You now go into your transactions. Now my POS is disconnected, so I'm going to just delete it and show you how it looks from the beginning and how to add it. Give me just two seconds because it seems that something is not activated here for me. Give me two seconds. It seems that all, our, all of our um, applications, not applications, sorry, platforms today with ClickMeeting especially are not working the way we would like them to work. However, we are not worried because we will get over this in two seconds. Now, okay, so we're back to our screen. Okay, so I want to add a transaction device, which is a simple POS. Um, now, I'm going to call it POS just so it's easier. Here you can choose what you want to add, which is, is it a POS, a third party software, or a barcode, barcode reader from Access. Connection type can stay here. Now, my IP address of the computer that I have my application POS on just for showing purposes and my port. I click next. You see this transaction device wizard and his role is to collect raw data from my POS application just to start up. So I'm going to show you how it works. Now if you see if I purchase soup and then cash it, my wizard is collecting raw data. Also if I'm going to purchase stake and then cancel, again it still collects data. Now if you see there is a small 
mistake in my POS and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So although your POS is showing something that you wouldn't like to show your customer, we still can fix it in our, our civilian station. I'll show you how easy it is to set up. Now, those fields have to be filled out. So that's why I needed raw data, just to basically copy paste. Being lazy and trying to save time for myself, if I just copy and paste it here, Synology transaction start, this is the start of my transaction. My transaction finish is just here, end of transaction. Now, if I, if you see here, cancel, that's going to be my cancelling, and I'll show you how, how all of it works in a second. Now, if I take this, I'm going to set it up as text, and if I take this little guy, I'm going to set it up as I'm going to set it up as a line break. And as I showed you, my Humburger is supposed to be hamburger, and I don't want to show my customers Humburger. So my Humburger will simply become, if you double click on it, hamburger. Let's click next. And as you can see, it brings us to the screen that sets up the whole um, display. So here I'm choosing camera that I want my transaction to be displayed on. This camera is okay for me. Stream profile, I'm going to choose high quality, although you have balance and low bandwidth. So again, depends on you. Position of the uh, transaction on the screen. The font color alignment, font size, or if you want it bold or normal. And also want a background, so you can set up any background that you wish. So let's just finish this, and I'll show you how it works. So if I click into POS and bring back my fantastic application, and I'll show you purchase soup and grilled chicken, everything shows up on the screen. Now, just two seconds. Now, if I just change the data definition, as line break, so you see, you can swap and change as many times. Setting applied, and again, even if you make a bubble, it doesn't really matter. I'll show you in just two seconds. My application seems to be closing on me. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so if you see here now, if I purchase, of course, it doesn't show because it's a demo and it always works when I'm not in demo. So let's just delete this one and, and add a transaction. Sorry, uh, something is disconnecting for me again. Um, yeah. Anyways, you have seen how easy it is to, to add it. So basically, if you want to change any data in, and you make any mistake in POS raw data collection, what you have to do is just click into the application and swap around. So you can swap around and change as many times as you wish. I'm going to send to everybody a recording of that webinar. Um, and the demo is going to be properly shown um, there, so hopefully we won't have any um, issues there. The problem is at the moment with our ClickConnect platform, it seems to be not connecting us properly um, to our 
um, screen sharing. So let's get to another part of our presentation. Um, of course, we're trying to make sure our surveillance station is um, performing really well and that it's not um, taking up all the bandwidth or all the space on your NAS. So we're trying to constantly add new things to make sure that we speed up things for you. We're focusing on performance this time because um, we've noticed that our surveillance station at the beginning since launching was taking um, quite slowly, but in the last year or so, it's one of the most popular applications on our, um, from our portfolio. So this time we added um, support for HTML5, which means that now users of, uh, our users don't need to download Surveillance Station clients. They can access our uh, Surveillance Station from the web browser uh, without installing any plugins. So um, you can now open our uh, surveillance station on Google Chrome and just watch it as you would watch a YouTube video. Um, let's say also um, Linux lovers, uh, which is uh, half of our IT department, can now use comfortably surveillance station as well with um, the HTML5 support. Uh, we also introduced the GPU decoding, so we recognize the fact that um, most of the Intel um, platforms have the GPU um, already um, installed, but with the GPU acceleration, we're making sure that everything works smoothly for you and that um, your surveillance station is um, of the highest quality. So, now I'm going to introduce a small lottery as a massive thank you to all the participants that decided to join us today. I'm going to leave you two minutes to speak to Jonas about um, surveillance station and ask all the questions. In two minutes, I'm going to clear the history of chat, so please don't write anything. Once I said, please write yes, just write yes once, and then we're going to extract it and, um, and choose one winner. So just two minutes for questions to Jonas. Now, Tom, the, there is no list of available existing POS systems simply because um, POS system doesn't really matter to us or the actual um, software on the POS system because Surveillance Station collects the raw data from it. Um, so as long as it's a standard POS system with a normal plug um, that's used in POS systems, then that should work fine. But if you have a business and you want to test it, please let us know and we can organize, um, we can organize a testing machine for you with the, the POS licenses as well. So you can check, see if you like it. We obviously don't want you to spend a lot of money and then not be happy. Satisfied customer is most important to us, so please um, test it if you wish. Uh, yes, it has. We're trying to work on surveillance station at all times to make sure that it actually meets the needs of our clients. And as I said at the beginning of webinar, a lot of um, requests come from loads of different parts of the uh, world to us on a um, daily basis with a lot of nice suggestions. So I can rest assure you that we take a lot of them into consideration. 
and try to implement them. Now it also depends, the pixelation it also depends on your connection of internet because a lot of times um, it's not just the um, it's not just the speed of the downloads, just upload as well. So you have to check with your service provider. It's bad. Oh, okay. In Germany, the uh, internet is not shockingly fast as well. Okay, so I'm going to clear the history of chat and please don't write anything. Um, once I give a signal, please write yes if you want to take part in, in our lottery. Okay. So we're oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Clear chat history. No, no, please. Just if you don't mind just typing in yes now. Just once because we're going to clear we're going to remove the duplicates anyway, so you're saving me the time to work on Excel. Fantastic. I think that is everybody. Six, and there is uh, eight participants. So just to let everybody know, um, okay, I'm taking the for Lawrence and for David. Okay, no takers, no problem. We're going to export the list. Okay, let's drum roll. Give me two seconds because I need to prepare. 